Welcome. This is the energy vibration for all the sun, moon, and rising scorpions out there. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the likes and shares and the support. Please uh, share and thumbs up these videos. I want to say thank you for all the wonderful support you guys have been given. It's time for your Zodiac birthday for the year 2016. We have finally, finally come to you guys' birthday. I know it is like the end of the year, but your birthdays are here now. It is the Zodiac time for you guys and you guys are going to have a wonderful time because even though it was a karmatic year, you guys are just so beautiful because um, you guys help other signs to clear their karmas. It is the a fire week. It is the week of... Uh, um, the chariot and it is a fire week but it's it's good it's bringing in like triumphant and success for some people and it's bringing in the energy of moving away from certain things in your life so it depends on who you are and what vibration you're working on the color of the week is going to be orange and this reading is um the week of uh um the week beginning from the uh, october 24th until the 30th so um, these are for the cat, the scorpions who are not having birthday in this week. So, um, you guys, you, some of you have uh, already have your birthdays or some of you are about to have your birthdays next week. I want to say to you all that it is a time when you're going to connect to your higher consciousness and you're going to accept unconditional love, but be, ho be careful. Don't open yourself too much up to people because you guys really don't realize that you help other people to see who they are as a person and their ego-based energies. As we look at Monday, Monday is wonderful. Whatsoever what was going on in your house or a situation at your work, for some people, it's going to be in your house. For some people, it's going to be a situation at your work. It's going to come to an end. So if people were fighting against you, if there were quarrels, if there was negative energies, negative things around you in your house or at your work, it's going to come to an end, okay? And new energies are going to come in. There's a lot of endings. Um, if we look at Tuesday, the energy on Tuesday, it's going to be whoever was blocking your success and, you know, uh, your movement in life is going to come to an end too. I love this for you guys because it's about time. You guys need to vibrate an high vibration. And whenever other people try to block us from moving forward, that's no good energies. As we look at the energy on Wednesday, what is happening is that um, you're going to be connected to um, a group of people and these group of people, this organization, it's mostly, it's an institute of so these people are who you're going to connect with. It's going to be extremely good for you. They're going to help you to better yourself as a person, but also to show you ways of going forward in your life. As we look at Thursday, what is happening on Thursday? It's a wonderful day if you're planning anything. And for all the women out there, if you are having situation um, with your children, it's a good day to connect. This energy has been coming up in this week for women, especially women, to connect with their kids. This is wonderful. For the men, it's going to be a wonderful week because the sun comes out. So good energy vibration is coming in. If you're a man, and you're looking for someone, if you're a woman and you're looking to uh, adopt a child, it's a good day to go and look. You are going to find that soul that is going to so connect to you. So if you are thinking about doing an adoption to a child and looking for a child to adopt, it's a wonderful time to go and connect because it's going to happen for you. You're going to find that little child who you so vibrate with and your soul speak with each other. As we look at the energy on Saturday, it's going to be a wonderful energy because if you were looking for work, you will finally get a message that, yeah, you are um, accepted for the work. Uh, if you are applying for work, if you were doing something with your business, you're going to get a beautiful message that it's going to be yours. Uh, 
um as we look it's wonderful as we look at saturday the energies on saturdays for you scorpions is the energy of the world and it's the end of all the negative energy people that were blocking you there's just a lot of hand ins and the star come out so your life is going to move and vibrate in a different vibration and the star is bringing you a lot of love and abundance in your life this is wonderful because on sunday the energy of debt is here i've seen it for somebody else whenever this energy of debt is coming in and it could be that you will hear that your contract is going to end at the contract uh, for the people who work for someone else that is not going to go any further. But it can also be um, that, yeah, you have apply for a job and you're going to get the job. This is wonderful because the star energy is here, which is just good news. It's good luck. So open up, you people. For some people, you're going to get the energy of the end into a situation. So maybe you had somebody who was in the second house and they died and you're going to get that message, whether by telephone, a SMS or a, te a, tele a text of something, some other form of information about this person that the end has come. And whenever death happened, people, I know I've gone through that process of grieving, but we need to let go of that soul so they can um, vibrate on a higher vibration. What is happening here is that you have been hanging in a limbo. Um, if you are someone who has have something in the justice system and you were hanging in limbo, you are going to get justice. Okay. So it's going to be, they're going to agree with you. Um, whatever is happening, this energy vibration, you are going to win whatever lawsuit it was for the people who have a situation in with the law of legal matters or so. I want to say this is a very beautiful reading and I hope this helped. Please thumbs up, likes and shares and I'll talk to you next week. Well, this is the week number 43 and it is the last week of October 2016. And what is happening here um, at this time is that um, we are at the, the end of a cycle in our lives and this year. Okay, what I need to say to you guys is that I am supporting and promoting um, artists and at, at the end of the year, you will always constantly see the energy or the paintings from Arlena. Um, dot com. Arlena.com is a very wonderful Polish artist and she Artilina.com, sorry. And she is working. I found her. She's a Polish artist and she's wonderful. She is doing these wonderful spiritual work. These painting, what she's doing has the, um, the connection of the same work that I'm doing. But um, most of us as light workers, we, I use my voice to heal people and she uses her paintings to heal people. So we're working with Arli Artilina in the month of October. And for other artists who would like to get their stuff out, doesn't know how um, to get their stuff out because you, do, you, are, you don't have enough financial backing or whatever it is, please send us a mail and we will get your um, artists going with our program here. Okay, it is the week number 43. And what is so wonderful about this week is that we have the Lord of the world okay whenever he comes in it's he is communicating with us and he is communicating with us always telling us what is going on because sometimes because this is one of the energies from the wisdom um the wisdom um tarot card and i love this and i love the way she did this this Lord of the world comes in to 
awaken us and to let us see that sometimes some things are not vibrating at a higher vibration. That means that people are being dishonest. So he comes in to communicate with us if we need information from out the spirit world, or he can praise us, or he can let us see the dishonesty that is going on around us without us even knowing what is going on. So there is a lot, there is so much help from the universe that the universe always sent into us. He's here to, it's for some people, you will get communication that there is, you know, good communication. Some people will get praise, but some people will get to find out that there's this honesty going around. What the energy of, of, of this week, there is a man holding a coin in his hand. This is a man that has money that is holding a coin in his hand. But this man is not really honest because not a lot of people who are rich, who are honest, they get their money in dishonest ways, especially if that happened and you get money in a dishonest way, it always goes away quickly. And what the energy is saying of this week, be careful of this man. You have a deep feelings that something isn't right. Okay. And that is the next energy that I have coming up. And that is from the Oracle. And I love the Oracle. I call it, call it my grandmother card, speaking to my grandmother and the Oracle always, whenever this energy comes up, the Oracle is trying to get our attention to say to us, you have a feeling that something isn't right. Just listen to that intuition because that is how our spirit guides, our angels and our higher self connect with us. Veer to think if you meet someone or you um, have contact with someone and you just do not feel that energy vibration from that person. And you don't, you, you have a feeling that I don't know what it is, but I just don't connect with this person. Sometimes it is good to listen to your, your feelings because there is a message that your intuition and your guides are given to you. The next energy that I have is the energy of details, 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 details. Sometimes we're trying to do stuff and sometimes, um, People are draw, trying to draw the wool over your eyes and it's always look at the details, you know, look at the details. It's like when I'm doing an energy, I just don't want to hear anything about what the problem is. Just ask me the questions and I realize that my, the energy comes out and flow out and I can just give you a broad amount of information that you weren't expected. So everything in this week, it has to do with details. Listen to your intuition. It's a wonderful energy in this week. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Namaste until next month.